Today, I will show you unboxing of the latest spectrum analyzer, Tiny SL Ultra Plus, version ZS47. You can see the logo, Ultra Plus. This small spectrum analyzer can measure frequency ranging from 100 kHz to 7.3 GHz, which is better than Tiny LC Ultra ZS45 and ZS46. Okay, now let's unbox it. There are some words on top of it that Tanyathi Ultra Plus ZS407. On the back, you can also see the model type, other info, hardware version, and the SC number. One USB Type C to Type A cable, lanyard and touch plectrum. SMA to SMA barrel connector. Two centimeters ALS R one hundred SMA cables. One antenna with SMA connector. Now let's power it down and have a look. Let's check the wording for of this Tiny LC Ultra Plus DS47. You will see there is a big title on it, DS47. The firmware version and the hardware version. Let's check other ports and buttons. We will receive the new Tiny SE Ultra Plus DS47. It has already been collaborated. But here, I'm going to demonstrate how to collaborate again. Here, I'm going to clear all the configs. The password is 1234. After clearing all the configs, you will see some uh, red letters on the left, which indicate that this tendency has not been collaborated. Now let's enable the ultra mode first. The default password is 4321. Usually, it's necessary to do a self test before collaborating. So, let's do it. You will need two SMZ cables and uh, one SMA to SMA barrel connector. Self-test will take around 30 seconds. But self-test is not a collaboration, so you will still see the red letters on the left. So let's go to the level collaboration. You'll see several options. Collaborate 100 kilohertz to 7.3 gigahertz, or collaborate over 7.3. Let me choose the first option and connect the KL and RF. Here are the two SMA ports. 
because I don't have signal source higher than 7.3 gigahertz, so I will not calibrate the data frequency. After calibration, you will see red letters on the left disappear, which means it has been fully calibrated by itself. There are two versions of TinySE Ultra Plus, DS-46 and DS-47. The DS-47 has a better frequency range, but the scanning speed is the same. For people who want measure frequency under 7 GHz, this handy TinySE Ultra Plus DS-47 is very friendly. This spectrum analyzer can do most of the job if you are not very serious. It has a signal generator built in, so let's have a look. It's better to attach a load at the end of the signal generator port for not frying your tiny SA, but uh, this tiny SA couldn't generate strong signal, so it's fine to leave the port open. Now let's test the maximum frequency. As you can see, the highest frequency is 17.92 GHz. The max level is minus 41 dBm. Let's test the lowest one. The lowest frequency is 0 Hz and uh, the max level is minus 27 dBm. The modulation is pretty the same as previous TinySE Ultra. Let's click Output. Clinic signal max 6.3 GHz. Highest accuracy max 7.3 GHz. This is much better than the TinySE Ultra. DS-45 and DS-46. The TinySE Ultra Plus DS-47 is basically the best version of the, the TinySE product, yet it's uh, more expensive than other TinySE. Personally, I prefer DS-47. The internal LNA gain is also improved. 20 dB gain from 1 MHz to 7.3 GHz, 15 dB up to 9 GHz. DS-45 and DS-46 can only have 20 dB gain from 100 kHz to 4 GHz. The full comparison is here. The table is from website tinysa.org. Good luck and have fun. Thanks for watching.